Hello everybody, and welcome back to Skyward Sword. And Hello, I'm here too. Yep, Mia is here <laughs> as always, and she will always be Alicia's Zelda <laughs> series, and the Ace Attorney series, and the Mega Man series, and hey, maybe we'll just make the whole thing. <laughs> Probably not, because I'm still doing a solo Super Mario Galaxy at the moment, so... <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind this whole... this whole of this stuff, but, you know. Mm -hmm. I hate getting through here, because you have to, like, cut them down like this yeah. and through. And sometimes they're yeah, just there. Yeah. But yeah, the re remote controls for this game could have been a lot worse. And oh my gosh, there would have been so much hate if it was worse. Oh yeah, so much worse. Luckily, but, yeah. Luckily, it's um, not that bad and to the point where because the game is so great, this has to be one of my favorite Legend of Zelda games. Oh yeah, it's definitely on my top ten, somewhere around the top five. Even. Yeah, I mean, uh, I know people always consider Ocarina of Time or Majora's Nest be the, like in the first two, but honestly, I have much more fun with Skyward Sword than either of them. I like Majora's Mask as my top one. You will not see Ocarina of Time even touch my top one. Just gonna be honest. Yeah. Ocarina of Time doesn't even make the top ten list. <laughs> it's like 13 out of... What? Well, how many Zelda games are there now? 17? Something like that. That's uh, but... Honestly, I honestly I think most people love Ocarina of Time all because of nostalgia. I yeah. think that's mostly the reason. And also, Ocarina of Time for the 3DS much bit better for than the original game. A lot better. I don't care what anyone says. The analog stick for <laughs> the original game sucks. It really does. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I had the, the N64 had really kind of terrible controls in general, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I had a much easier time with um, Mario 64 than I had with Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yep. I this? had... Well, let's put it this way. I used to claim that Super Mario 64 wasn't a Mario game because I had so much trouble with Mario 64. Nowadays, I'm so good at it that I don't... Like, like I can play yeah. through it fairly good. God! Hiccups! Ow! Like, the... Those are painful yeah. hiccups I just had. God! <laughs> Wow. Like, uh, I, but yeah. I, I, I um, it seriously hurts. Your chest. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> man. Anyway. Um, but yeah, Mario 64. It's actually a pretty good game. I played um the original Mario games, and even I have trouble with most of them because the difficulty gets extremely hard like turn on in the game. Oh yeah. I but. don't like the, the early Mario games like Mario 1 or Mario 2 or 3 because they are really difficult and they have a very very sharp learning curve. Like you have to yeah. learn quickly or you don't at all. Uh, maybe uh. put it this way. I freaking love um, Super Mario World. I oh, freaking yeah. love it, right? But right. the thing is, I can never get far in that game. I can't. <laughs> Even though I consider it to be the bet one of the best Mario games ever, it's still extremely hard for me to get through it, yeah. and that's sad. <laughs> well, I mean, I did a. a 
playthrough of Super Mario World and beat the whole thing. So Yeah. I, I know it just takes practice. Yeah, it takes a lot of practice and a bit of work and so on. I mean, once you get used kind of, to it, yeah. you know. Yeah, it gets a lot better. Yeah. But to me, uh, the Mario games never really piqued my interest so much that I want to work hard to beat the games, really. Yeah. No offense to anyone who loves Mario games. I admit that I can see the appeal of the games. Just like how before I play Legend of Zelda, I understand the appeal. It's interesting. It, they're great games. Yeah. It took me a while to even touch a Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> but, yeah. I never say games that I never touch or have a hard time with are bad games. Right. Far from it, really. <laughs> The only time I ever claim that something is bad is when it's actually bad. Bad, you know? yes. Like, if I'm having like, trouble because the controls are bad, controls not are because bad. I'm yeah. just having trouble, then, yeah, I, I'll it's be like, a game. Is yeah. Yeah, this is terrible. You know? yep. Um, for example, I played Dark Souls, and guess what? I don't hate the game, even though it's so difficult. Yep. Dark Souls is ridiculously hard. But, I mean, I guess I can see the appeal if you like hard games. I've never played it, but I've watched... What was it? Game Grumps playing it or something? If it wasn't Game Grumps, it was someone else. I just, yeah, like, watched yeah. it. Yeah, I know they played Bloodborne, but I don't know if they played Dark Souls. Um, but if it wasn't them playing it, that was a friend of mine. Like, I was watching him play it, just going, How can you even play this game? I, I know it's extremely difficult, but um, to me, I play it because of the role playing aspect where you can decide um, what kind of. Doggy. Oh, yeah, sorry. I think it's thundering. <laughs> I think it's thundering a bit outside, so you might hear the dog whine. Right. <laughs> um, but, maybe, uh, that's, maybe that's the uh, storm that just uh, went by us earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we do live in the like, same uh, state after all. Yes. Not too yeah. far away from each other either. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that for Dark Souls you can play as like a person who uses magic or try to um, be more like a thief. But you have to practice dodging everything. Right. <laughs> or just be a complete tank. Right. And even then, you might have trouble because of some of the enemies. I want to do a Skyrim playthrough at some point because while I don't really care much for the game so, so far from what I've played, at the same time, there's a lot of roleplay aspect. And so I think that if I just find the right play style, I may enjoy the game. Like, I started out by playing as a fighter, and then quickly learned that you really kind of need, like, magic and stuff to really get through a lot of the game. Like, you know, you need it for, like, um, uh, um like healing yourself and stuff like that. And so, well, I turned around Not and as started, much, but, yeah. Yeah, but I, so I started turning around and learning, you know, how to use magic and stuff, but by that point I had already spent so much time leveling everything else that it was taking forever to level really any of my other stats and stuff. And so then I was trying to play it the other day because I lost my save file. Turns out I was just on the, uh, the wrong uh, Xbox profile. By the way, I absolutely hate that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> apparently my brother had played on the, my Xbox at some point because I was under his profile. I really hate the fact that save files are separate profiles. Yeah, I really hate that too. It just, there's really no point for them to do that. Yeah. I like playing the bird around. It's kind of nice and relaxing. So, 
Uh, a lot of people complained about the bird, but a lot of people complained about the ship and Wind Waker. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I never had, well, I never played Wind Waker, but I had played Phantom Hourglass, and I never had problems with that shit. And I just figured that um, Phantom Hourglass and ship um, sailing is all similar. Probably not, but... They're, they're not really similar at all. They're, okay. It's actually a very, very smaller space. Alright. There's a lot less, um, you know, moving around on boat. Alright. So. Uh, sorry that I never played Wind Waker. I want to, but, yeah. you know, there's just some things you can't get. <laughs> yep. I mean, I even tried uh, playing Majora's Mask, and it turns out I couldn't actually buy a physical copy because, oh my god, it's expensive. <laughs> so, I I had to actually use the Wii, um, the, the, the Wii um, online store for it. Yeah. And I... I still don't like Majora's Mask as much as I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, Majora's Mask 3D is a lot better than the original Majora's Mask. Yeah, I'm planning uh, to get the 3DS version. Yep. 3DS version is, pre is pretty good. I've only gotten about halfway through, because I've only done the first two dungeons. But what I've seen has been pretty good. I wasn't too pleased with the changes they made on the second uh, boss in the game, just because I felt that the the second boss was so fluid, <laughs> like playing through it in the original, that it, it really feels awkward in the 3DS version, but eh, whatever. Well, most of the changes I heard was extremely good for the 3DS, so I'm quite happy about that. Oh yeah, they made a lot of changes that were a lot better though. The, 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 the second boss so far has been my only complaint. I've seen playthroughs of the entire thing that I've gone, this just looks awesome. So, I definitely want to uh, you know, get through the whole game at some point. I just, I don't have time to play video games. <laughs> Playing video games. And speaking of time, I <laughs> hated um, one of the things I was scared about Majora's Mask is the time limit on the game. Yeah, it, it I, it's I mean, terrifying to me. So yeah. it it is a little intimidating the very first time, but after the uh, the initial playthrough. You realize that there's all kinds of tricks and things that you can do to slow down time or hit checkpoints or things. Especially in the 3DS version, there's so many more checkpoints. And so it really, it, it becomes, the, the time limit, once you really get used to it, becomes almost non-existent. So. Yeah. It's just sad to, well... Even when I had the guide, uh, when I played Majora's Mask the first time, I felt like I was extremely limited on what I can even do. There were, like, occasions where... Well, you see, when I do dungeons, I like to make sure I check everything out before I go to the next section of the dungeon, right? Yeah. For Majora's Mask, it felt like I had to rush through it, otherwise I had to exit the dungeon and reset time. And it, to me, that kind of bugs me because whenever I go into a dungeon, I um, make sure that I get all done in one um, playthrough. Yeah. Oh yeah. To have yeah, to have to leave during a dungeon, that just bugs me. <laughs> it's just like uh, I don't want all the enemies to respawn again. <laughs> I. I Basically, yeah. Yep. I, I and also, also, I hated the save feature on that game too. 
Uh, again, another thing that they highly right. fixed in the 3DS version. <laughs> I know, I'm glad they did that. So. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're at about 15 minutes, and this seems like a good spot to uh, end the episode by leaping off! So, um, yeah, next episode we will uh, race against Bruce to get the uh, statuette here. And, um,. If you're enjoying, please feel free to subscribe, please feel free to leave a like, and I've got snack. <laughs> and, uh, I'll see everybody next time. Farewell, and have a good day. Keep calm, and uh, funny on everybody.